What is going on there, YouTube? And welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today, we are going to jump back over to Marvel Comics once again and pick up with Captain America The Winter Soldier Storyline Part 2. This is the second volume that covers the second half of the return of Bucky in the Marvel comic book universe. So if you do like today's comic book story, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read will please let me know in the comments below. Also guys, I am sick so I might sound a little bit off, so please forgive me. But I do hope you enjoy today's video. The opening of this book, we pick up with Vasily Karpov again. Remember, he was a leader of a Russian team that worked with Captain America on a mission in Russia. Well, we see him and his team in a submarine where they are picking up radio chatter about Captain America falling into the ocean, where we know that this is the moment where he was frozen in time. Do we pick up in the present day at the base of S.H.I.E.L.D. with Nick Fury, Sharon Carter, and Captain America himself, where you have Nick Fury showing proof that Bucky is the person who killed the Red Skull, and also he has been alive this whole time, that they have pictures of him throughout time where big assassinations had happened, where he could have been involved. Now, Captain America does not believe the fact that his old friend is back, but that is when Nick tells Captain America he should believe it since Bucky is responsible for what happened in Philadelphia. That is where the story shifts back to what happened at the end of our last video, where the Winter Soldier let a bomb go off and we see Captain America try to save the lives of innocent people, except while doing that we see some members of the AIM organization who again is advanced idea mechanics appear. We learned our last video that the Red Skull stole their tech which was the bomb, except the Winter Soldier and Alexander Lucan took the bomb and used it for their own scheme, and they are there to recover their stolen tech, but then they run into Captain America and he beats them down. That is when the AIM soldiers call in the robots they made to help them fight against certain people. But before we can see more of the fight, we jump back to the present day, where Nick Fury is showing more examples of Bucky's work as the Winter Soldier. How every time there was an incident, he was there. You have Nick Fury tell us that Bucky has only aged 5 years since World War II. For Captain America, he wonders how is that even possible? Well, you have Nick Fury tell us that he has been frozen this whole time, but the freezing only slowed his aging down. It did not completely stop his aging process, and they would only break him out every once in a while for a certain mission and then freeze him again. So we get a couple pages of Captain America fighting against those AIM soldiers, and it is a cool thing to see. But the biggest point of this comes at the tail end of the fight. We see Captain America about to get shot from behind by a random soldier, except he is saved by the Winter Soldier, where you have Captain America in shock that he is seeing his old partner again and calls out to him. But Bucky does not remember Captain America at all and asks, who in the world is Bucky? And so you have Bucky leave before Captain America can ask more questions. 
But getting back into the present day, we see Captain America is upset with the fact that his best friend is back. So with that, you have Nick Fury tell him and Sharon Carter that he has a plan to go after Alexander Lucan. A small team goes in and grabs him quickly and quietly. It must be careful since he has the Cosmic Cube. Now after Captain America leaves, you have Nick Fury talk to Agent Carter to tell her about Agent Tap. Remember, in our last video, Agent Tap was the one who found the bomb in Philadelphia. And so when it blew up, he died. That was her ex-boyfriend after Captain America. Then jumping back to the present day, we see Vowsley Karpov in his submarine again, like we did in the beginning of our video. Where we see him and his team were the ones who found Bucky. The radio chatter said, Captain America fell in the water, and he did, but so did Bucky. This is how Bucky was found by Russia. Chapter 2 opens up with us seeing some secure government base. This may seem random, but this is setting up future Captain America books, where we might cover actually. But we see the guards being taken down by some random person. We quickly learn that it is Crossbones, and he came to this base for a certain person, where we see him break into a room to take some young lady. The question is, who is this lady that he is kidnapping? But pick it up the next day with Captain America, Sharon Carter, and Nick Fury, we learn that there is some bad blood between Captain America and Sharon Carter. The reason why is because Captain America had asked Nick Fury to take Sharon Carter off this mission because he thinks she is only going on this mission to get revenge against Alexander Lucan and the Winter Soldier for the death of Agent Tap, which is true, but at the same time, Captain America can't talk because he is also too close to this case, with the fact that his old partner is back and causing havoc. Now we do get another flashback where we see Captain America meeting up with Nick Fury about the case. But before they had discussed the fact of removing Sherry Carter from the mission, we learned that this mission is not on the books, meaning that because Alexander Lucan is so clean that both the death of the Red Skull and the bombing of Philadelphia is being pinned on Jack Moreau. They don't have a motive to show the higher us why they need to move on Alexander Lucan. So right now, this mission has to succeed or they will be in a lot of trouble down the road. We finally get to the mission and we see the team moving quick and fast. Remember, the goal is to grab Alexander Lucan and get out of there quickly. Honestly, it is kind of cool seeing Captain America and the others take down these soldiers, but this leads into a moment that saves Alexander Lucan from being taken away because we see Lucan was having a meeting with some very important people across the globe. See, Alexander Lucan bought out Rockstar leaders to make a deal on a pipeline. But the people who came with Roxxon are the chief of staff for the vice president and also the assistant to the secretary of defense. Remember that Nick Fury did not get any clearing to go on this mission. He was hoping to grab Lucan and deal with the paperwork later on. Except now he has to let Alexander Lucan go because to the chief of staff, S.H.I.E.L.D. is going rogue and doing things on their own without any form of permission. Also because Lukin is from Russia, not the United States, so crossing international laws as well, so they have to leave Lukin alone for now. But getting back with Crossbones, we learn who is the little girl that he is with, why he broke into a secure government base for. Well, we learn that this little girl that he is kidnapping is actually the daughter of the Red Skull. 
and we don't learn much about her till down the road in later stories, but this is the daughter of the Red Skull. Now we get a page where we see that someone is talking to Alexander Lucan that we can't see, and you would think it would be the Cosmic Cube talking to him, except it is not. And you will see at the end of this book, but we see that he has misplaced a folder, a very important folder. Then we get another page where we see the folder that Alexander Lucan was looking for actually ends up on the desk of Captain America. The folder is actually the secret folder of the Winter Soldier, explaining how Russia was able to take Bucky and turn him into the Winter Soldier. Now some other things have changed or have been added into the origin of Bucky being turned into the Winter Soldier. But in this folder, it explains that after Captain America and Bucky failed to stop the bomb from blowing up, Captain America learned that Bucky also fell into the ocean, but was found by Vasily. Now when Vasily found Bucky, one, he had lost an arm, but two, he had lost his memory as well. But with his memory being gone, his body still remembers how to fight. Because remember, Bucky was trained to be an assassin. Now for Russia to make Bucky their weapon, they would brainwash him or wipe his mind clean as a way to make it easier for them to control. The folder moves on to explain how Bucky was used to take down key targets in other countries to help Russia in political battles. But the folder also describes the fact that Winter Soldier had a moment where he would be on a mission, but he would sometimes not come back since he was trained both in America and Russia over the years, he was able to stay hidden for a long period of time until Russia's secret agents in America were able to find him and bring him back. But in 1988, we learned that Vasily ordered the Winter Soldier to be locked up and to never be released ever again. And so he was locked up in storage with other projects that Russia had hidden in that warehouse. And so with this folder, it confirms that Bucky is the Winter Soldier, that with Captain America being in denial in this book for so long, that now with the folder in his hand, he knows his old friend is back and now some kind of Russian assassin. And for Captain America, he can't believe it. And we get this flashback to show us that Bucky was the one person who really understood Captain America, that their bond was deep. And with him being back now, it hurts Captain America. But you get another page where we see Alexander Lucan getting ready for a big business meeting, where he has all the CEOs of powerful companies coming to him. His goal is to see how much ECO would spend on the Cosmic Cube. Now his friend slash assistant is worried for Alexander Lucan because he thinks that the cube is messing with the mind of Alexander Lucan. Getting back to Captain America, we see him meeting up with Nick Fury and Sharon Carter, where we see Captain America showing them the folder, which again confirms that the Winter Soldier is Bucky. Now for Nick Fury and Sharon Carter, they think they should go ahead and get rid of Bucky because to them, there is nothing left of Bucky. It is just a shell of his past self. Except remember that in the folder of Bucky, it says that Bucky would disappear after completing a mission when he was in America. And so to Captain America, there must be a small piece of Bucky left in there somewhere and Captain America is trying to bring that piece out. Then a couple more pages of another flashback where we see Captain America getting ready to meet Bucky for the first time. But this section is showing us that at first Captain America 
wasn't sure about Bucky being his partner since he is so young. But you have this random guy tell Captain America that Bucky can stand as a symbol like he does, but for teenagers. Also the fact that Bucky is a train killer, meaning that he can do more intense things rather than Captain America can. Now you have Captain America and Sharon Carter talking to each other, where you have Sharon Carter continuing with the idea of making Captain America realize that Bucky is no longer Bucky, where Captain America is in denial over the fact that he can't bring the Bucky he knows back, that whatever Sharon Carter says to him does not get through to him. And so he leaves, but after he leaves, we see that Sharon Carter knew that she would not get through to Steve Rogers. So she and Nick Fury was hoping that someone else would be able to get through to Captain America, make him realize that Bucky is no longer Buck. Did pick it up with Alexander Lukin, who is with all these different CEOs from different companies. We see him try to see how much someone would spend to buy the Cosmic Cube, except one of the CEOs tries to step in and show the others that Alexander Lukin is doing this for his own pleasure. It says the cube probably doesn't work. That is when Alexander uses the cube to bring a contract out for all the CEOs to sign and force their buys to agree to sign them, showing that he will use the cube to reach all of his goals. But after he does that, you have Lucan and his friend leave the room. That is when we see that every time Lucan uses the cube, it takes a toll on his body. And so when he sits down to catch a breath, his friend tries to pick up the cube to get rid of it. But Lucan actually picks up a couch as a weapon to use to stop his friend from getting rid of the Cosmic Cube. Now getting back to Captain America, we see him running through town thinking about Bucky, where we do get another flashback. It is a cool flashback, but it is not important really. What is important is that we see the person that Sharon Carter and Nick Fury were talking about when it comes to someone who could talk Captain America out of his plan is Falcon. He was a partner of Steve Rogers and probably the second best partner only behind Bucky, someone who could reason with Steve Rogers. Now something to point out is that the way Captain America and Falcon met was actually through one of the Red Skull schemes with the Cosmic Cube. So when Falcon hears about the idea of the Cosmic Cube being back, he knows this is not a good situation. Also, Captain America tells him about the fact how Bucky is back as the Winter Soldier. Now remember that Nick Fury sent Falcon to be the one to convince Captain America to go ahead and get rid of the Winter Soldier. Instead, Falcon is more on board of saving Bucky rather than getting rid of him. And so, they have to come up with a plan to save Bucky. But we transition over to Alexander Lukin in The Winter Soldier, where we see that Alexander Lukin has decided to give up the Cosmic Cube, that he is going to lock the cube away. The reason why is because after he hurt his friend who tried to take the cube away from him, that he feels like the cube is corrupting him. So he orders the Winter Soldier to take the cube away somewhere and make sure it is never found. Also, we see that the Winter Soldier is beginning to talk back to Alexander Lukin, showing signs that maybe the mind wipe Russia always does on him make him forget everything is slowly slipping away. 
but he does follow order. Now getting back over to Captain America and Falcon, we see that they have recruited Iron Man to help them with a mission, which is to attack Aid, who is a group of AIM people who broke away and formed their own group. They're also known as Advanced Idea Destruction. We learned that these guys were the ones who made the bomb that was used by the Winter Soldier and Alexander Lucan. It all happened because of them. But remember, the bomb setup was used as a way to power up the Cosmic Cube, falling apart that this Cosmic Cube was made by them. Remember, different Cosmic Cubes have been made throughout the years of Marvel. This one was made by Aid. And so the reason why Captain America, Falcon, and Iron Man are here is because they need to use Aid tech to find a way to trace the location of the Cosmic Cube. So this leads into a fight between our heroes and these guys. And we get a ton of pages to show us the fight, but when the fight is done, you have Captain America basically tell the last man standing that they are going to help him and his friends find the Cosmic Cube, finally put a stop to all of this before it gets out of hand. Jumping over to the home of Iron Man, we see that he was able to use the tech of aid to locate the Cosmic Cube and see that it is moving across the world right now. So he tells Falcon and Captain America where it is going and lets them use one of his jets. Now the reason why Iron Man does not join them is because Iron Man Company was one of the many companies that Alexander Lucan wanted to buy. But Iron Man was able to convince the board to not let Alexander Lucan buy the company. So it will look bad on him if he goes after Alexander Lucan as well. On the way there, you have Captain America and Falcon get a call from Sharon Carter who is wondering where in the world they are going because Falcon was supposed to talk to Captain America out of saving the Winter Soldier. Instead, Falcon is down to help Captain America out and so you have Sharon Carter realize that she is going to have to basically help them out by taking the team with her to the location where they are going to just in case something happens that they need backup since the Cosmic Cube is a very important thing. Now when they get there our heroes think that they are being sneaky, that there is no way the Winter Soldier knows that they are there at this military outpost, except that, of course, he knew that sooner or later, Captain America would follow him. And so you have the Winter Soldier out there with his sniper, getting ready to shoot both Captain America and Falcon as well, him being ready to go. Moments before this moment, we see that Red Wing, a literal falcon that is a partner to Falcon, saw the Winter Soldier. So Red Wing was able to tell Falcon the location of where the Winter Soldier was at, which means they were able to dodge the sniper shots from the Winter Soldier, and they are able to advance into the outpost. We come to find out that the Winter Soldier brought back up with him, so a bunch of soldiers run towards Captain America and Falcon, but you have Falcon take care of the soldiers as Captain America runs in after the Winter Soldier into the base. To raise the stakes even higher, you have Sharon Carter call up Captain America on his earpiece to tell him that if the Winter Soldier escapes into the outpost, there's tunnels that run underneath the mountain. It is basically a maze. So Winter Soldier could escape down there, but the Winter Soldier does not want to. Instead, he wants to fight Captain America to learn why in the world does Captain America keep following him all over the world and try to talk to him. Of course, we do get the fight between the two characters, but it's more of Captain America trying his best to talk to the Winter Soldier to make him remember, where you have the Winter Soldier applying that he does not want to remember. 
and Captain America does not truly know him. But Captain America realized that the Winter Soldier is somewhat holding back on killing Captain America off because the Winter Soldier is a trained killer, but he is not killing Captain America. Now skipping a few pages, we see that Captain America was able to get his hands on the Cosmic Cube. That he uses the Cosmic Cube to help the Winter Soldier remember everything about his past life. This is a huge moment because now the Winter Soldier remembers everything finally. Except the fact that he cannot take the idea of everything he has done over the years. So he takes the cube from Captain America, begins to crush it, and then there is a small explosion in the room where the Winter Soldier is gone, that his thoughts went into the Cosmic Cube and made him disappear. So he could be dead, but we know that he is not. We see that he is not, that he used the cube to go back to the place where him and Captain America first met back in the World War II era, that he is going to hide there for a while until he knows what he wants to do next. It is a way to close on the book for the Winter Soldier. The final page shows that the Red Skull did not really die. Because remember that we saw that Alexander Lucan was talking to someone, but we thought maybe it was the cube. In reality, it is the Red Skull. Because before he died, he was able to transfer his mind into the body of Alexander Lucan. And now they are both trapped in the same body. And this is where we are going to end today's video. So please, Hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But guys, I'll see y'all next time.